We're here outside the Port Coquitlam home of the Ebnadine Hamidi family, a mother, a father, and a teenage son who have all died tragically in the plane crash in Iran. We spoke with some of their neighbors as well as longtime friends. Can you tell me how you knew Adlan and Nilofar? When did you first meet them? How, how long have you known them? Actually, the, my first meeting was a long time ago uh, when I was studying my bachelor in uh, um, Iranian uh, uh, Educational Technology University. Uh, I was studying their electrical engineering and Ardalan was studying their civil engineering. Our first met was at the university. It was a long time ago, even 25 years ago or something like that. Actually, the last talking was two days ago. We have a short chat uh, over the phone, over the WhatsApp, and uh, it was about the, because he is uh, one of the board members in Tri-City Cultural Societies, so uh, we have an event for Noruz, and we talk over the phone about the event shortly, and he told me that uh, I go back in two days. I saw that there is a, a crash aircraft, uh, Ukraine air, uh, airplane crashed in uh, uh, close to the Tehran in Imam Khomeini airport. I have a look and the first name that I saw was the Erdalan and his wife Nilufar and his son the Kamyar. And I shocked actually and it was very bad news and I couldn't sleep last night totally. You know, he had a lot of volunteers for community. All the time he was the first person that, okay, Bezad, if you need any help for community events, some, you know, they, we have some committees to involving the community in the social activities, in the political activities. He was the first one. Couldn't say anything more anymore. It's very hard for me to talk right now about them. 